Hello YouTubers, we're back with part two of this video. We're going to actually take a look at, some, at one of these two engines and see a little bit about how these guys work. Now I know the engines are turned off at this point, you're really not hearing the engine, but right house in this compartment here where the BNSF is, is a huge engine. 20 cylinders, 20 great big cylinders. And then the turret is located in there and that's a big generator which generates the electricity. So, and also by the wheels, in between these wheels, are great big electric motors. So really what this is, it's a diesel electric engine. The diesel provides the power which turns the turbine which generates electricity and provides the power to turn these wheels. Come on over, I'll show you something else. This is a huge air compressor. It controls all the brakes on the train and all the cars that it pulls. That's all powered by air pressure. So the motor turns the compressor, which generates some air, and allows the train to stop. And as you can see, that these engines are huge. They're really high up in the air if you get on top of the roof. And I'm sure, you know, some people would, very, would be very uh, not gutsy to take that move. Now we'll come on down here. As you notice, the headlights. The headlights are always on these engines for safety, so everybody knows that you're coming. And let's take a look at the front. And that's the very front of the train, and that's a plow device. Even in the winter time, it pushes all the snow off the track. As you notice, the headlight is in on the nose instead of in between the number boards. BNSF and Union Pacific have their headlights on the nose. It improves visibility at the nighttime. So, you're probably wondering how do you drive one of these things. It's simple, you go forward, you go backwards, and you go fast or you, or you stop. That's all it is to it. ES44C4. And believe it or not, sometimes the 4,000 horsepower this big engine provides isn't enough. So you see here we have, uh, see sometimes you'll see two or three engines. See here there are two of these engines and I'd like to show you uh, what this looks like. You see right there that's the coupler. You can see he's, our electric, these are, are the uh, electrical hoses up here. And these are the control hoses like the MU hoses. Here you have the spare coupler and the most important one is down there. I know it's kind of dark, but let me back up a little bit so you can see it real good. That's the air hose that flows the air from the compressor through the hose and throughout the train to stop. If that thing breaks, the brakes are off the train and they can't work. So that's all the connections of the train that are here. I'll let you look at one of these brake cylinders. See, here's the brake cylinder off of the other ES44 seat 4. So the air is pumped in, pushes this lever, and allows the brakes to clamp down the wheel and slow the train down. Another device you might not know about, right under there, that sometimes these wheels slip. So what, so what the operator will do is, he'll squirt sand from this squirter onto the track, and that creates traction. And the, and the, and the sand squirt down the track to help the train get up steep hills. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope all of you have enjoyed this part two. I'm really glad to see these because you really don't get to see this very often. So, so 8153 and 7093. What a great, what a, what a great appearance today. So anyway, there you have it guys. Thank you guys for watching. Videos will be uploaded soon. This is your, this is Engineer Pat saying thank you guys for tuning in with part two and we'll see you guys next time. Go BNSF.